Kent Beck coming here again from uh, Gusto San Francisco headquarters, and uh, it's time for episode six. I'm we're, Kelly Sutton, and this is Kelly Sutton. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're we're going to talk about the uh, the sixth attractive, positive property of tests. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, this episode, we're going to talk about uh, tests that are deterministic. That mm -hmm. is. We always get the same answer every time. Yeah, like when we execute our test, it's always going to give us green. It's always going to give us red. It's not going to sometimes be green, sometimes be red. Yeah, what I've noticed is tests will get flaky. Yeah. We say flaky even though, like it's a pastry, we would like pastries to be flaky, but tests, yeah. we don't like it. But somehow it's a little bit of minimization. And, uh, and so the tests run and they fail and you're just like, oh, just rerun them two, maybe three times. As yeah. long as one of them's green, yeah. we're good to go. Yeah. So today, we had a great example today yeah. of a test that was flaky for a weird reason. Yeah. So uh, we got a question in the channel saying, hey, does anyone know why this is, why this test is failing? We haven't changed anything. But oh yeah! Okay. Every time, every time a programmer says oh, I haven't changed anything, they've yeah. definitely changed something. So in this, in this case, nothing was changed. Wow! I swear. Okay. Uh, Prove it. I can. <laughs> <laughs> and and so they asked a question. Can anyone tell me why this is flaky? Right. We have a flaky test. Right? Build before it was green. Build after it was green. This test failed. We don't know. Why. Nothing changed. Yeah. I promise. Oh, I promise. And so this was this was the failure. Okay. Okay. Show right. us this. Um, uh, so get like zeroing in on exactly what this is complaining about. This is a test that's kind of clicking through the browser here. Okay. And it says uh, so we asked it to click on an anchor tag like a link uh, with the text of edit. It contained the text edit. Okay. Right. And this test failed because it says, hey, there are two links with the word edit in here. Yeah, OK, right. OK. Um, so I don't know which edit you want me to click on. OK, so right. sh show me, the, show me the, the actual screen. Yeah, and so this is, this is what the, the screen looked like at the time. OK, right. so now this, the, is a, this is an admin dashboard. All right, so the, it'll be a little small for you. But mm -hmm. there on the right side, I see where the edit is. Yep, there's an edit right here. OK, so yeah. that's definitely there. Mm -hmm. There's not another edit on the screen, Kelly. Yeah. Well, and, what are you telling me? And and viewers can pause and they can go hunting for this. Actually, yeah, <laughs> go ahead and pause right now and see if you can find out where the other edit is. And when you come back, we're going to tell you right now. Uh, so the other edit is in the name Meredith. What? Okay. E D I T. There you go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, and so why, why is this failing now? Right. Yes. And why didn't it fail the and last time? And why didn't it fail the last time or and, the time after? And that's because we generate names mm -hmm. at random. Yep. And so sometimes if it happens to contain edit, mm -hmm. how many names are there that contain edit? That, that would be interesting. Well, Meredith for sure. Meredith, for, for we, some reason, we know that. For some reason, know I that. know this. <laughs> Which is just... Yes. It's occupying space in my brain that could have been, you know, curing cancer, uh, writing a sonnet, learning how to play an instrument. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, well. <laughs> yeah. So, so here's a case where we have a test yeah. that is behavior sensitive, the way we want it to be. Yeah. Is it a little, a little too behavior sensitive? Yeah. So that we're going to get false uh, failures. Right. So sometimes. 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 Now. But flaky tests, people put up with flaky tests. Mm -hmm. And all of these properties we're talking about are all trade-offs. Mm -hmm. So why is it that people put up with flaky tests? Uh, I think it's because the fix is pretty easy. You just retry it, and then you move on. Right. Yeah, but in that moment, you've completely lost your, your trust in your tests. Yeah, so like a lack of determinism in tests really starts to erode your trust. Yeah, yeah. Of like, well, red is okay. Right, two, two out of three good is enough. good enough. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so, well, and then I think the next question is like, why don't we always write deterministic tests? Right, and, and tests get flaky because mm -hmm. something comes in from the outside yeah. that's not under the control of the tests. Yeah. So things like time, yeah. date, 
mm-hmm. location. Yeah. We were talking about running tests at uh, 4.59 p.m. on yeah. September 30th. Right as the UTC switches over to Q4. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen those. Not a good day. Yeah. Not a good day. So the, the fix is to explicitly pass in all the information that you need to mm-hmm. run the tests. Yeah. But that means that that information also has to go into the model. So if you're mm-hmm. relying on random numbers, if yeah. you're relying on dates uh, or times, those need to be passed in yeah. instead of just being able to say, mm, date today, yeah. anywhere you want to in the code. Yeah. So we'll have to, like we're just adding one parameter to that otherwise you know clean method signature. Right. Yeah. Right, but it turns out it actually matters mm-hmm. if we want to be able to trust our tests, yeah. which we do. Yes. So there you have it. Uh, pastry flaky, good. Test flaky, bad. Not worth it. We'll come back to you with uh, episode seven. <laughs>